And we also need to crack down on nations that cheat and don't play by the rules. When China steals our, our technology, when China steals our intellectual property, our patents, our designs, our know-how, when they manipulate their currency, we're going to say no more. Cheating must have consequences. China's a bitter topic in this year's U.S. elections. But while the debates over China's growing status have been tense, a fresh spree of Chinese firms buying U.S. companies. Deals have jumped in the first eight months of this year, dwarfing a trickle of transactions in 2010 and 2011, and meeting with little opposition. Biggest buy right at the movie theaters, AMC. The second largest, state-owned Sinopec acquiring a 33% stake in gas assets from Devon Energy. Other deals are also high on the value chain, ranging from the purchase of a bankrupt aircraft maker to an offer for a Massachusetts producer of rechargeable lithium batteries used in electric cars. Overall, the Obama administration is promoting greater trade between the world's top two economies. But on a global scale, China's U.S. investments pale in size to its buying sprees in other nations. To the north, Sinox's $15.1 billion bid for Canadian oil producer Nexen. If completed, it would be China's largest overseas purchase this year. State-run Sinox bid to buy U.S. firm Unical seven years ago was sunk by a political backlash. Since then, Chinese firms have shied away from big U.S. deals. When you're looking at uh, China wanting to take interest in what would be viewed as a strategic asset, be it the U.S. ports, be it a U.S. Uh, uh, petrochemical company, uh, then I think the response from Washington would definitely be no. As global leaders visit Beijing in a never-ending parade, geopolitical concerns take center stage. But as the surge in China's U.S. investments show, behind the veneer of politics, cross-border deals are still getting done. Tara Joseph reporting for Reuters.